What's up lads, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a match reaction for the Everton vs Southampton game last night. Um, I was going to do a Chelsea Man United match reaction on the weekend, but I didn't think there was really going to be much point after that dull game. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing one for the Everton Southampton match reaction. The Leeds one um, last week did very well, so I was pleased with that. Um, that got, I think, over 300 views, which is very good. But um, yeah, um, Everton, they played quite well i don't think they played to their maximum best but they didn't really need to because we didn't threaten them really till right till the end but um yeah in terms of team i think ralph kind of got it wrong again four string guy i think that was good i think for what he had to do he was all right maybe he could have done better with the goal he kind of went in to take the ball off for charles and then kind of came out of it but just go for it. Like you're either gonna give, you're gonna either give away a penalty, get the ball, or he's gonna score. So and you have a chance of saving the penalty anyway, aren't you? So, um, so I just think he has to go for the ball there. Um, uh, and yeah, we just didn't look great going forward. Adams had a quite a shocking game. I don't think he touched the ball really that much at all. Um, we need a new striker in the. Um, so much it pains me to say because I really do like Adams. I thought he started the season off brilliantly. I thought here we go, it's his breakout season. But he's not scored since November in that three-nil against Sheffield United, who we have next. If we don't win that, <laughs> that's not going to end well for us. Um, and you know you've got Salasu, who I think maybe did done better for the first goal. You just got to jump for it. Like you've got contested with Calvert Lewin. I think he's a few inches taller than him. You've got to be winning that header. Um, Vestergaard, I thought he played all right, he had the chance to equalise at the death. Uh, maybe could have done better with the finish, but it was a good save from Pickford, and you can't really fault that, really. You wouldn't have expected him to score that. Bertrand, I thought, played all right. Um, and show we'll do player ratings later on in the video, if I remember to. Um, but, you know, I just thought we played quite badly again. I think we played better than the Leeds game, especially in that second half. Uh, if I compare this, the second half against Everton, the second half against Leeds, we definitely played better in this second half, which I think was maybe because we didn't apply the pressure as much normally. Um, and even it kind of had that goal from Michael Keane that was ruled out to really get us into gear, but still we couldn't really find anything. I mean, Gineppo had a good chance maybe at the end, but it was an awful shot from him. Um, and, you know, we, we have to take chances like that. I don't think Ings had a shot all game. Redmond had two poor shots. I hate going in Redmond because Redmond's another one of these players like that I like, but he's just been, quite frankly, woeful this season. I think he's only got one goal again in that victory against Sheffield United in the 3 0. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, he's been playing up front for some parts in the season as well. So, you know, like, and he has only got one goal, which um, sums it all up, really, um, which is sad to see from Redmond because, I, as I said, I do like him, but. We can't continue to play him. The teller in the Leeds game looked much better when he played. I think we need to give him another chance against Sheffield United. I know Minamino's maybe going to be back, but maybe we'll see. Hopefully Minamino on one wing and then Teller on the other wing. I, um, I think that could be exciting to um, see how that turns out. Um, but again, um, I just think Teller needs to start. And also I think Walker Pieces, both Walker Pieces and Diallo are coming back, which hopefully should restore some kind of stability into the team. Uh, I don't know, maybe we could go to a back five soon because um, I think um, who's going to be the centre back two because obviously Walker Peace is going to come in defence, is going to be Salah to invest the guy as we've seen. Is Bednarek going to come in? On current form, can Bednarek come in? He's been quite poor, but you know, he's not a right back. He's not going to do a good job there, is he? I think we just have to play Kane Ramsey there, but Ralph first played Bednarek there, and I think that was a poor decision. I mean, Ramsey signed a new contract in the week. Um, I thought he could have played also. Even if you aren't going to play, then why did you loan out Valerie? You know why did you loan out Vokins? It's silly, really. Um, uh, we'll do we'll do the player ratings now. I think Forster six. Uh, I think he did like one saveable game maybe, but again in the games where Forster has played, he hasn't had much to do. Like, but I still think he should play in Sheffield United. Right back Bednarek six again, just an average game. Didn't do much. Vestergaard, there's only a lot of sixes just because we didn't do particularly well. Um, and the yeah, Vescar's going to be another six. Uh, maybe he would, that obviously he would have bumped up the rating if he did a little bit better uh, with that finish at the end, I think. Um, Salisu was also a six. Bertrand, six as well. Um, uh, in terms of the midfield, Redmond, four. 
I have to say, I don't like going in on Wiseman's or any player, but it's just the sad reality at this point, you know, like, he played so poor again tonight, gave the ball away so many times, countless times. Uh, in the midfield, Wall Prowse, a six, Armstrong, a six. Um, Armstrong just shouldn't be playing in the midfield, he doesn't suit that role, I think. Maybe Jankovic could have come back in there. I know what happened against Man United, um, cost us that game, 9-0, but... You know, at least he's a midfielder and he's not promising him. Give him a chance. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, Jeff on the other wing, another six. Um, uh, I'm going to say Adams was a 4.5. He played awful again. I don't think he was quite as bad as Redmond, but he just hardly touched the ball, really. And when he did, he was quite poor. Ings, I'd probably give him a man of match on a 6.5. Well, for Saints, a man of the match. Anyway, I thought he did some good runs. Um, made some good passes, um, but you know I'm not quite seeing Danny Ings play to his full potential as we saw last season just quite yet. But hope we need to beat Sheffield United. That needs that's a must win to get some confidence back into the team. Um, and Sheffield United, you know they'll be looking at them at that much, saying that's a must win for them as well. Um, again, we haven't won at Bramall Lane. I don't think since no, sorry we haven't won an away game in the Premier League since uh, November, and obviously. We have this thing at Goodison Park. I don't think we've won it there since 1998 in like 16 meetings now. I mean, I think they're saying we've won at Anfield three times since then. Old Trafford, we've won it two times. The Etihad, we've won it three times since then. Um, I think we've won at Stamford Bridge a couple of times as well. Um, you know, I don't think we've ever won at the Emirates in that time, actually. So that's another ground we're quite poor at. But, um, yeah, uh, the Goodison hoodoo continues, I guess. But, um yeah, hopefully that is a must one against Sheffield United, as I said. Um, you know, hopefully we we do win that one to just get some confidence back. But then as soon as we think we could do that, we got Man City the following game. Then I think we have Brighton in the league or Bournemouth in the cup. We I kinda of hope that Brighton games first because we need confidence going into that Bournemouth game. So I think a win against Brighton would really help, um, if we go into that Bournemouth game. Um, so yeah, that's going to have to do it for today's match reaction, guys. What are your thoughts? If the comments are enabled, let me know down below. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully Walker Peters and Diallo set to return for the Sheffield United game coming up. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully, uh, the next match reaction will be another three points, um, for the first time in a long, long time. Um, thank you for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Also, my main channel, the link to that is down below also. Thank you for watching the videos and I'll see you soon.